Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back. We have brand new exclusive gear sets for each of the four characters. We got new colorways. We have a new bat cycle skin all by completing showdown. But I want you to watch this entire video first because especially before you complete showdown whatsoever, because if you do complete showdown, it might do some stuff to your gear that you really don't want to happen. So first, let's talk about what you actually get by completing showdown. And one of the things you get is brand new exclusive gear sets. Batgirl gets the Predator gear set, which is exclusive to Batgirl. I have not crafted did this yet because well I'm going to tell you here in a second why I haven't crafted it cuz it can mess up a lot of things in your game and uh you definitely I don't know if it's intended maybe it was intended I would think that it probably wasn't intended but either way predator is the entire gear set that batgirl gets and you could get it up to level 60 each of the bosses on the showdown will give the same gear sets just at different levels. Let's take a look at Red Hood's real quick. Red Hood has the dead eye suit. Now, we found in the game files at least that the dead eye suit is not exclusive to Red Hood. This is the only one of the suits that wasn't exclusive to Red Hood. I believe it was uh, Red Hood and Robin are the two characters that can get the Dead Eye suit. Now, in the showdown, uh, the only one that gets it is going to be Red Hood. So Robin can get it at some point. I don't know how he gets it. But at least that's the level 60 that you get for Red Hood. As far as Robin goes, Robin is going to pick up the Shadow Suit. Now, this is exclusive. I believe this one is exclusive to Robin. If you're curious about what other gear sets are in the game, check the link in the description. I made a whole spreadsheet of all the all the, the gear in the game files. And so uh, for completing Showdown, it's it's set to these specific gear sets. And so Robin is going to have the shadow suit. And then Nightwing is going to have the Guardian Angel suit. All of these are going to be at various levels, just depending on uh, which of the showdown bosses you beat, okay? Now, once you beat the Mecha Freeze showdown, you're going to get all of these gear sets. You're going to get all of these gear sets at... I believe a level 45, and then you're gonna unlock the Cobalt, the Ultra Cobalt colorway. So once you complete it, you're gonna get all these gear sets, level 45, uh, for all four characters. You do it once, you get them for all four characters, and you unlock the Ultra Cobalt. Now, if you do Harley Quinn, same exact thing. You get all of the gear for all four characters at level 50, and you get the Ultra Pastel colorway, which again is a brand new colorway that we've known about for some time that's been in the game files, but uh, we didn't know, you know, how to unlock it, you know, or anything like that. But the Pastel, Ultra Pastel, you're gonna get by beating Harley Quinn. And then you're gonna move over to the Clayface. Clayface is the same thing. You beat Clayface, you get all four characters, level 55 gear this time, and then you unlock the uniform Leviathan colorway. And then the very last one, Talia al Ghul, that is where you get the level 60 stuff. And so if you beat Talia, you get level 60 for all four characters, all four characters, and then you get the Chroma Blackout. So if you could beat Talia, you get the Chroma Blackout, all four characters has a complete full set of level 60 gear. Now, once you complete this one down here, which is just the Mr. Freeze showdown, that is the basic one. I honestly can't remember what the rewards were, but apparently it was because when I did it, I didn't get any new gear, nor did I get any new colorways. So I'm not exactly sure what that's for, but once you, you you have to complete it anyway because once you do complete it you get a brand new bat cycle skin and this is the new bat cycle skin after you finish all four of them now a little bit disappointing with this because the people that that 
you know, had the comic that they had the exclusive rewards for the comic that you purchase, you got this Bat Cycle skin. And now they give you literally one exactly like it, except just a different coat of paint on it called the Deco. And so if you finish all five of them, then you get this Bat Cycle skin for rewards. Now you might think, Sonny, that sounds absolutely fantastic. Man, all of that uh, amazing colorways, all of this amazing gear, it's awesome. Level 60 gear, but I'm gonna have to caution you and I'm gonna have to say that, you know, you better be very careful when it comes to this stuff because honestly, once you get the gear in showdown, there's almost no point in doing anything in the entire game. And this is what I mean. Um, so each of the suits, I have shadow suit, right? Level 60, which is amazing. Of course, you're thinking, wow, if I take the shadow suit and get it crafted and uh, use it for new heroic assault, baby, I think that's, you know, a fantastic idea. You know, you go to Heroic Assault. Oh, Obsolete's blueprints have been removed from your crafting inventory. You go over here to your gear. You go to crafting. It just deletes everything in your in all of your blueprints. Every single blueprint that you have ever grinded for, that you've ever tried to get, that you have ever wanted to do absolutely deletes everything the second you step into Heroic Assault. Deletes everything. Everything in there except that level 40 gear. Now, does it delete everything in your inventory? No, it does not. You still have everything in your inventory right here. And so I only had, at least for Robin, one legendary gear. And as you saw, you know, in the crafting section, I did, uh, I had like 60 or 65 or 70 blueprints. The reason I just tested this and I just threw away all of my blueprints was for you. So you don't have to do it. And I made the same mistake with Nightwing. I got the stuff complete, except with Nightwing, I had over 120 blueprints. I had almost everything for Nightwing on the blueprints. So I think this puts a lot of people at a dilemma here. Um, on one hand, the level 60 gear, absolutely amazing. It slaps and you take it in Heroic Assault, it does really, really good. So, uh, but here's the problem. I have also, you know, been doing this on Nightwing was who I did it for. And the second I went into Heroic Assault, I got the level 60. I beat Talia. I equipped it. I was like, dude, I'm going to bring this into Heroic Assault and just like, like fly through this thing. Put it in, deleted all of my gear or all of my crafting, every single thing that I've ever done in crafting. And I've grinded so hard for Nightwing. And then... After that, I did a couple of, you know, a couple of levels or whatever, went back into the city and started fighting regular, you know, uh, activities. They started giving me the same gear back in my inventory at level 40. So not only does it delete everything that you got, all the crafting that you've ever done, the second you step in Heroic Assault, then it just gives you the level 40 stuff back when you do activities. Like, they made it to where you don't, why Why am I going to go out in Gotham now? Like, why am I going to go out in the city and do all of the, you want me to do all those activities again? You want me to grind all of those activities because all of my blueprints have been deleted? And even if I wanted to craft this, even if I wanted to craft it, it's not even close to level 60. I don't understand what is going on here. Now, I haven't gotten that far in Heroic Assault just yet, but I'm going to assume towards the end that the gear that it does drop is going to be level 60. And that's fine. That's great. But why is nowhere on the map dropping level 60? If I get level 60 in Showdown, if it then deletes all of my blueprints that are level 40, gets rid of everything because it says it's obsolete, 
And I do Heroic Assault, and at the very end, the level 30 or whatever, that drops, you know, very random, maybe specific level 60 pieces. I can't get level 60 anywhere else. So what's the point of playing anywhere else? Anyways, I just wanted everybody to know that the showdown right here is was fun and very difficult and challenging, especially since I did it backwards. I did the Talia one first. And so I did the first one, you know, the last one first, and then I worked backwards, which made it incredibly easy after I did that. But uh, all the gear is awesome. This level 60, it's exclusive, except for Red Hoods. Red Hoods, you can get on uh, Robin as well as Red Hood. But all the gear is exclusive. It looks really nice. You can get it at various levels, you know, kind of how it should progressively 45, then 50, then 55, and then 60 right there. But it's ridiculous that, you know, once you do that, though, and you get all these colorways, it deletes all your blueprints, everything in there. And then you go out in the city and you'll just get the same blueprints back again just at level 40 again it's retarded not exactly sure what they were going for but i would just be very careful like for me i did the one for robin in the video just to show you what happens but i've also done it on nightwing not on batgirl not on red hood so i'm never going to take batgirl or red hood in heroic assault if you don't want your blueprints deleted don't take that character in heroic assault you can use that character in the city, do whatever you want in any other game mode. Just don't take it in Heroic Assault and your blueprints will not be deleted. Once you do that with whatever character you have, all your blueprints are gone. Then you'll have to get them all again if you want them all again. I mean, but then again, what do you need them for? Because it's you got one single level 60 gear piece. You don't need anything else. Either way, though. That's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you did enjoy. Let me know in the comments, like, what do you think is going on here? I don't know, man. I, I, I'm, I'm super aggravated and it's super frustrating because now in the city, I have no reason to go in the city. Like, I have no reason to do any activity whatsoever. They didn't make the game more challenging. They made it way easier again. It is so easy. Every single time I take this Nightwing gear into the city, even on a hard, the hardest difficulty, it's even easier now. Anyways, guys, I'll see y'all next time. We're out. Peace.